Hi, I'm Clinton. I'm Claw, and we're the Lamest Defenders. So the next video for our Marvel Legacy reviews is actually the Avengers. So this is an absolutely big review. So uh, let's just get going. <laughs> Hi, Thanos. We're the lamest defenders. I don't even know who you are. We have a small but dedicated fan base. Be sure to visit our sponsor at BaskervilleProductions.com. Welcome back. So with the Avengers, it opens up with uh, Agent Phil Coulson waiting for Nick Fury's helicopter. Yeah, he's he is Coulson is our uh, everyman into the movie. He is our our entryway into the film. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of puts us in the universe. Universe, excuse me, and. Uh, He's also to blame for Captain America's costume. And that hideous, film. tacky thing. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. So. so, obviously with this one, I'm sure pretty much everyone on this planet has seen this movie, but they are trying to, well, they're, they're trying to basically tap into the Tesseract because S.H.I.E.L.D. really wants to make weapons to alleviate some of the threats because after Thor, the Asgardians, you know, or could be a potential threat like Loki, obviously, with this yeah. movie. So... <laughs> yeah. uh, Looks like Fury was right. Yeah, <laughs> who would have thought? So as the movie continues, they are in a big shield base, all yeah. underground. Uh, we get to see more of Hawkeye a little bit in the beginning. He's up in his nest. Yeah. <laughs> which, yeah. is the, which is the dumbest line I've heard in any of the MCU movies, and there's a lot of dumb lines. Okay, that's, yeah. that's saying a lot. <laughs> so I, they're trying to tap into the Tesseract, and Hawkeye mentions that it's a gateway on both sides yeah. because I guess Loki has been manipulating uh, Dr. El Eric Selvig. So it, it's implied that Selvig actually opens the gate and Loki pops out. Yeah. And uh, so he lays waste to everyone. Uh, long story short, he is basically mind controlling everyone with the mind stone that's in his scepter. Yeah. Uh, he mind controls uh, Hawkeye. And then the base implodes. <laughs> and. Uh, there's nothing in between that. <laughs> it's literally that. Uh, Nick Fury gets shot. And he's like, I'm okay. I'm bouncing back. Uh, so next, so you have this threat now, which is Loki, and he's trying to basically open a portal so uh, Earth gets invaded by the Chitauri, which is the end game. Huh, no pun intended. So No, that's at movie 22. Yeah, that's yeah. you're right. <laughs> and so what they're trying to do is get all the Avengers all, all on the same page. So... The next, I'd say, 30, 35 minutes is them just recruiting people. Like, uh, it shows Black Widow getting interrogated, yeah, which is actually a pretty humorous scene. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's humorous because her Russian accent is so bad. <laughs> I, I no. that always just took me out of it. It's like, okay, I yeah. get it. Like, could you couldn't try? Like, you were nominated for an Oscar twice. Yeah. Like, can't you just try it? Like, so I don't know. Was, so they they get her going and. Um, it, they said uh, that Clint, uh, yeah, Clinton Barton is uh, compromised. So Black Widow is like, yeah. I'm on board, <laughs> and so they actually get her to help recruit Bruce Banner. Yep. Which is kind of a humorous scene because Bruce Banner is getting pushed by Natasha a little bit, and yeah. the zucchini is about to pop out on her. And uh, so as we continue, it shows Nick Fury talking to. I, I believe it's Steve Rogers, Captain America, yep. try to get him caught up on things and how the world is working. And then also you have Phil Coulson, the everyday man, trying to talk to Tony Stark yeah. back at his ivory yeah. tower, yeah. which is, you know, you have Pepper Potts, who I guess this just another check mark on Gwyneth Paltrow's contract where she yeah. has to appear in so many <laughs> movies because she wasn't in it that long. So... As the movie continues, uh, Loki and his band of brothers with Hawkeye are trying to find a material to stabilize the Tesseract uh, so they can teleport all those yeah. Chitauri in. So they go, I believe it's in Germany. Yep. And they, it's in cr <laughs> <laughs> they crash the party, and we finally see some more action, which is yeah. uh, it's a really cool scene where Loki's trying to get everyone to kneel. Yeah. And you have this old, I assume it's a World War II veteran, and... Yeah, yeah, probably. Or, or maybe it applies he was, he's that. probably around during that time. Yeah, period, so, maybe he's yeah. Jewish and he's just trying to apply, yeah. you know, imply that Loki is acting like Hitler. Yeah. And Captain America shows up to save this old guy, and he really implies that Loki yeah, is being yeah. Hitler. So this is actually kind of cool because it, it, it showed Captain America versus Loki, and I thought it was a cool, quick little it action was. scene. Yeah, it, it showed really, really uh, that Captain America's athleticism when he's fighting; he's just yeah. flipping over. Not over. today. <laughs> <laughs> and even Black Widow makes a comment. Oh my God, he's just going everywhere because she. <laughs> Black Widow, let's be honest, in this movie is 
a little more than useless. Like she is, yeah. she doesn't do anything. She doesn't do a whole lot. That's fair uh, until the very end with yeah. the, uh, the rod. Yeah, so it's kind of closing like, okay. the portal. Yeah, closing the portal. Spoiler mm-hmm. alert. And uh, it's just the Avengers win. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> spoiler. So yeah, it's it's just like okay. I mean, I like um, Scarlett Johansson as Natasha. Yeah. But it's also just I wanted her to do more. Like she actually had more to do in uh, the Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Captain oh Winter, yeah, Winter Soldier sure. than she did with this movie. Yeah. So. so you have Cats America fighting Loki, and then eventually Iron Man comes yeah. to back up uh, Cats in America. And you, I, I think it's ACDC yeah, that plays. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Have a PA system. Yeah, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> and the whole objective is for Loki to get caught. Yeah. So they have him on the Quinjet. And then a thunderstorm happens, and guess who it is? It's yeah. Thor. It's Chris Hemsworth in another wig, uh, showing off those. Uh, Beard looks better though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, his eyebrows. I don't didn't think get eyebrows dyed. No. Yeah. So yeah, he looks a lot better. So uh, that leads up to uh, one of my favorite parts of the movie is that whole fight scene in the uh, yeah. in the forest, it's which great. is super cool. Because at first it's Iron Man versus Thor, yeah. and you would think Iron Man would just get his ass kicked, but he really he holds he his own. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. And okay. one thing I noticed was they used a lot of practical things for Iron, uh, Tony Stark's armor, like for Robert Downey Jr., oh, where yeah. it doesn't look as fake. Because a lot of times when his face plates up, it, it's totally yeah. CG. But yeah. this one, I think they actually put him in the mask, yeah. which is great. And it looks a lot better. It looks way better like that than it did even from last year's Endgame, in my opinion. Yeah. But anyway, the fight goes on, and uh, it's a stalemate because Captain America arrives, and... They're all like, maybe we should just, like, calm down. And so eventually Loki goes back. uh, He gets brought to the helicarrier. And to really kind of fast forward, this is what he wants. He wants to mind control Bruce Banner. Yeah. So, and then Hawkeye comes in. Things go down. It's Hulk versus Thor, which is, it's short. Security for an ultra-secret organization is kind of lax. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, we don't have you on the docket. Oh, it's just ammunition. Like, oh, okay, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah, come on down. Yeah. (laughs) And it it was cool, too, because... I think that's how it works. I remember watching the movie and just seeing the uh, Tony Stark's personality kind of clash with uh, Steve Steve Rogers, where I'm like, man, this sounds really like Civil War. I know, yeah. Which was cool. And anyway, the helicarrier um, it doesn't turn out well. Loki kills yeah, Phil yeah. Coulson. Yes. Which is the whole catalyst why the Avengers kind of get together and form up. Because things weren't going well. Thor is just off in a field. He barely yeah. escaped that, that tube thing. Yeah. The room. Hulk's room. Yeah. And then Hulk got cranky and he <laughs> fell off a jet. And, you know, he was, gets <laughs> <laughs> discovered by some old guy. He did, yeah. So, Son, you got a condition. Yeah. That was, that was one of the better lines of the movie, I thought, actually. Yeah, for sure. So eventually, because of Phil Coulson's death, uh, the Avengers are united again uh, under this rallying banner. Yeah. And now you have the Battle of New York, because Loki has got everything that he wants, and he's trying to open the portal, and the Jatari are pouring out. Yeah. So uh, for this part, for this action scene, I just kind of want to acknowledge that I really love this entire like segment of action for this. I think... I mean, obviously, there's some negatives because it's what an eight-year-old movie now. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But it was just cool, like, just because I never thought in a million years we'd ever even get this movie, and then you see all the heroes interacting and fighting. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and <laughs> we were we were discussing off camera that Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye were uh, pretty much useless in this. Yeah. They're, they were doing their best. Yeah. <laughs> They're at a complete disadvantage because they can't really fly well, anywhere. Well, Hawkeye has a very limited amount of ammunition. He can't <laughs> yeah. keep doing that forever. Right. And then Captain America has strength and stamina and everything else, but eventually he will wear down. Mm-hmm. And then Black Widow, I mean, she has great martial arts skills, to be sure, yeah. and some weaponry on her bracelet yeah. things. But she also will just... These guys are probably, like, what, 300 pounds? I mean, they're still massive compared to her, yeah. so she's going to tire out pretty mm-hmm. quick. So, yeah, it's just like, all right. Yeah, and then I guess to make her seem like she's doing a lot more, um, they're like, all right, throw her on one of the Chitauri yeah. things. And you see yeah. her just flying around like Star Fox, which is cool because she's doing more. Yeah. Uh, Hawkeye, I kind of felt bad for Jeremy Renner because 75% of this movie, he didn't even get to play really Hawkeye. He was just like... Just completely mind control. <laughs> he didn't have to act. <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> he's finally, you know, at the end of the movie, he's finally being himself, but he's not. He's just, it's just an arrows. action. Yeah. yeah, and that was kind of disappointing. But, I mean, he did have some cool scenes where... There were two scenes in the movie that gave... I, I sincerely eye-rolled because I forgot about them. Yeah. When uh, Hawkeye's telling Loki that they need that material from mm. the meteor, he's like, what do you need? He's like, uh, an eyeball or something like yeah. that. And then he takes his butt and he goes, cha-cha! <laughs> <laughs> his like, bow comes out. I was like, oh, God. And then and they the do sex it. light and just yeah. flexing And then they do it, it again yeah. later. It's yeah. like, God! <laughs> like, I wonder, was Joss Whedon trolling Renner into doing that or was that Renner's idea like oh it's oh, gonna I, look so cool just trust me no it's probably like, Joss Whedon I probably yeah I really hope it's Renner <laughs> there, there's some things uh, there's some jokes in this movie that don't land and then on the other side out of 15 jokes maybe two will actually be good like I really liked where Iron Man uh, called Hawkeye legless yeah. <laughs> like flew up legless. Yeah. <laughs> which is pretty good um so things get resolved, yeah. obviously. I mean, you guys all know what happens. The, the portal gets stopped. Uh, the day is saved. But it just, this movie to me, I think I'm more, uh, I don't know, it's just sentimental yeah. to me. And I think that's why this movie ranks up so high to me. Because looking past some of the obvious faults of just because it's an eight-year-old movie, yeah. um, I mean, I still love it. It's still, yeah. it's still I, I would say it's in my top five that's Marvel fair. movies. No, I was I rewatched it last week and I was thinking about it because I I was looking back on it and I don't really I don't think it was that good. Yeah. Thinking about it and then I watched it again. I was like, oh, this was great. Yeah. Like, it was just it was fun. It was it did have some depth to it. Mm-hmm. Like and like some people get just murked out in this movie. Like yeah. Coulson gets stabbed. The guy, yeah. the one guy gets thrown into the propeller. I think and, uh, <laughs> yeah. on the helicarrier. Yeah. So I was just like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like some Chitaria just shooting people. Yeah, like, like, it's it's really intense. But mm-hmm. it was just a really good movie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not it's not top five for me. It's probably in the like close to ten, honestly, mm-hmm. just because I, I like so many other movies more. Right. But man, this was just a great it was yeah. it was a really good movie it's, it's fun to go back and watch honestly it's one of my it's probably that and star wars revenge of the sith and avengers is probably the best i guess movie moments i've ever had going to the theater whenever yeah. the movie comes out the day of sure like that night it was just so cool and everyone uh was just so involved with seeing this movie because no one thought this was going to actually no. happen and it no. paid off big time yeah. so I would give this movie probably a 9.2 out of 10. Wow. It's, I love this movie. Not a 9.3? No, not a 9.3. We're going to. So. Uh, I'm going to give this a solid 8. 8.5. Eight, mm-hmm. 8.5? Eight uh, it's, it's, it's great. It's got charisma. It's got The action scenes are pretty good. The only thing about Loki that bothers me is when he's shooting the staff. Mm-hmm. He'll like put his arm way out here, and then like and then the recoil. Like, yeah, <laughs> <I was laughs> he's, like, he's always got time. Here. Like he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. go into it. Yeah. He just like, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I thought it was kind of weird to me. So I, his like, noodle ass guardian arms, I guess. I guess. I guess. Can't yeah. handle the power. But yeah, like, other than that, like just some little stupid nitpicky thing mm-hmm. like that stuff. It's still a great movie for so. sure, definitely. So uh, that's basically it for the Avengers review so for our next one going down the line uh, based on when they release in theaters it's Iron Man 3 yep. which <laughs> Avengers is one of my favorite Marvel <laughs> movies Iron Man 3 is in the one of the lowest for me okay this entire thing this will be interesting yeah I hate I, I hate that movie okay so well, alright we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah I look forward to that bad boy so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate you stay lame see ya